Tonight we're learning surprising new details about the apparent plot that led to the shooting of former Boston Red Sox star David Ortiz. He was shot Sunday while at a nightclub in the Dominican Republic. Ortiz now is in guarded condition at a Boston hospital. CNN's Brian Todd has the very latest for us. Brian, what are you learning? Wolf, the new plot twists tonight are frankly stunning. We have learned that at least two of the suspects are wanted in the U.S. for violent crimes. Layers of this plot are peeling away. Suspects are talking, and at least one of them, it appears, is desperately trying to save his own skin. A shout from a Dominican jail cell and another strange twist in the investigation into the shooting of David Ortiz. The alleged trigger man, Ralphie Ferreira Cruz, yells to reporters Ortiz was not his intended target, that he was confused by Ortiz's clothes. It was confusing. I was told the color of the clothing, nothing else. I didn't see him. A prosecutor in the Dominican Republic disputes that, saying the gunman is clearly seen on surveillance footage going right up to Ortiz and shooting without hesitation. The prosecutor says the suspect already admitted under interrogation to being part of a conspiracy to kill Ortiz and that they believe he's making up a story to avoid being killed in jail for allegedly targeting such a beloved figure. A former U.S. Marshal agrees. I think that's probably a little bit of self-preservation on his part. Um, you know, he, Mr. Ortiz is a pretty renowned figure. The 10-time All-Star slugger for the Boston Red Sox, known as Big Poppy, was shot in the back Sunday as he sat in a nightclub in the Dominican Republic. A total of nine suspects have been taken into custody, and prosecutors tell CNN some have been cooperating. It tells me that there's a potential organization here. Um, it is not just an, an, you know, a case of mistaken identity. It's, it's probably an organization. And there's some reason for why Mr. Ortiz was targeted. Tonight, officials say Ferreira Cruz, the alleged gunman, is wanted in New Jersey for two armed robberies in 2017. And authorities in Redding, Pennsylvania, are investigating whether another suspect, Luis Rivas Clase, is the same man who was wanted by authorities in an attempted murder there last year. We feel that it is the same individual that's uh, charged with both crimes. Rivas Clase is still on the run tonight. How could two suspects in violent crimes in the U.S. have made their way to the Dominican Republic? Former U.S. Marshal James Shields says it's possible one or both of them might not have been entered into a national database of wanted criminals. But there are other possibilities as well. They could possess some form of, of false identification under another name. He could have traveled before the warrant was issued. He could have traveled before there was an agreement to put it into the system. Tonight, police are still not talking publicly about what the motive could have been for the targeting of an athlete who analysts say was more popular than most presidents in the Dominican Republic. Make no mistake about it, David Ortiz is a larger-than-life figure, not just in, in, in Boston, but in the Dominican Republic. It could be any kind of slight. It could be uh, freezing out a former friend. This is an athlete with enormous amounts of money. I'm guessing it's probably a very personal, deeply personal reason if David Ortiz was targeted. And tonight, prosecutors in the Dominican Republic are telling CNN they believe some of the planning took place in prison. They say some of the people charged in this case were already in prison for other crimes, and they believe they were involved from prison in setting up the hit on David Ortiz. Tonight, Ortiz is in guarded condition in a Boston hospital. Wolf, let's hope he makes a full recovery. Brian Todd, thank you very much.